Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore NASA's latest revelation about interstellar comet 3I Atlas, which appears to be hiding untouched material beneath a scarred, irradiated crust, showing that it is no longer a pristine relic of its origin, but a survivor shaped by billions of years of cosmic radiation. What NASA uncovered next adds an extraordinary twist. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, has observed something rather fascinating about 3I Atlas, the third interstellar visitor to our solar system. Not just JWST, but Spherex, have also noticed how the ratio of carbon dioxide to water in the comet's coma is not normal. The ratio measured for the amount of CO2 gas relative to H2O is among the highest ever observed in a solar system comet, demonstrating that the coma of 3I Atlas is very CO2 rich, NASA said some time back. This may indicate that it was exposed to higher levels of radiation than comets from inside the solar system, or that it formed in a region of its original planetary disk where CO2 ice naturally freezes out from the gas, it added. Now, a new study has also pointed out that the comet is a battered and bruised version of itself, following billions of years of interstellar journey. A team of astronomers from Belgium and the USA studied the composition of the comet and posted the findings on the preprint server archive. They tried to explain the odd ratios seen by JWST and others and why they were observed when the object was so far from the radiation of our sun. JWST measurements show placing 3I Atlas above solar system trends at the observed heliocentric distance, the authors wrote in the paper. Two of their hypotheses did not fit the bill. Either the protoplanetary disks where it originated had certain physical conditions that could alter carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide presence, or CO was destroyed mid-plane in the protoplanetary disk, causing CO2 to spike. The one that explained it aptly was the Galactic Cosmic Ray, or GCR, processing. Under this, galactic cosmic rays convert carbon monoxide into carbon dioxide. This led to the creation of an organic-rich, irradiated crust on the comet's nucleus over a billion years. Laboratory experiments demonstrate that GCR irradiation efficiently converts CO to CO2 while synthesizing organic-rich crusts suggesting that the outer layers of the comet consist of irradiated material whose properties are consistent with the observed composition of 3I Atlas Coma and with its observed spectral reddening, the authors wrote. The outgassing data show that the material inside the comet remains untouched. If this is true for 3I Atlas and other interstellar objects, then it means humans would never be able to use them to study other star systems. Rather than being pristine messengers from distant planetary systems, interstellar objects may instead carry signatures of processed material shaped by gear-scale cosmic ray exposure, the paper states. These changes could have happened in their parent stellar systems prior to ejection and during their interstellar transit to the solar system. So, while the original material sits carefully cocooned inside the outer shell, what we are able to see are the scars it endured during its trip and not its true self. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.